Well, hello again sports fans. This is the latest flight of my new improved Nano Talon. If you watched the previous video, you'll know that I lost it about two and a half kilometres out on the last flight after losing the video signal. I'd been having trouble getting enough elevator authority on the Nano Talon to get it to climb and that was the main reason I lost video contact was altitude. So I found the Nano Talon but decided I'd replace the standard stabiliser with a big AL uh, autopilot that I've had a lot of success with flying on my Texumo. It's roughly the same size as the standard um, stabiliser but has the advantage of having a return to home capability. As you can see it fits nicely in the same spot that the original stabiliser uh, went and the wiring's pretty straightforward. While I was installing the big AL I discovered that the problem with the original stabiliser had been that the elevator push rod had been slipping through the linkage stopper so there was probably nothing wrong with the stabiliser at all. So I've picked a fairly windy day to try it out and I'm forced to launch across the strip into about a 15 km an hour wind and it doesn't go well. So I'd tried launching it in stabilised mode which was the way that the original stabiliser worked but the big AL doesn't like it so I relaunched it in manual mode and even though it was a bit twitchy until I got used to it she went up quite nicely, no problems at all. So I just concentrate on getting a reasonable amount of altitude and then switch it into stabilised mode and she settles right down. So even in the fairly stiff wind that's blowing I can tell straight away that she's um, a lot smoother than she was with the stock stabiliser. There's a lot less uh, wing waggling and the ailerons seem to have a bit more authority than they did. But the rudder still has um, a, a positive uh, impact so I'll continue to use the rudder. This is my first V-tail model so I don't know whether that uh, rudder response is a standard thing with V-tails but certainly uh, the Nano Talon seems to like it. So I've got the gains turned down fairly low and I'm just um, flying around in balance mode just trying different throttle settings to uh, check the responses but I'm pretty happy with the way she's going I feel like I'm in complete control and uh, even in the wind I'm uh, pretty happy. So the next thing to do is to test the return to home capability so I gain a little bit more altitude point the nose away from home and flip the return to home switch. She loses a little bit of altitude as she turns but uh, lines back up on home quite nicely and heads straight there and goes into its uh, circuit. And I just um, watch it for a while, I try different throttle settings to see uh, what its preferred speed is but it's pretty stable uh, all the way through it so again I'm happy with the return to home behaviour. So I'll just fast forward through this section but she maintains a pretty constant altitude all the way through it and um, the circle just varies really with the wind. So the other change I'd made to the Nano Talon was to uh, attempt to calibrate the RSSI um, signal out of the receiver. So I'm keen to see how that worked and uh, put it into um, stabilised mode and uh, decide I'll uh, head out back along the same valley where I lost it uh, the previous week. So the wind's essentially uh, behind me at this stage. Um, as I said, I flew down here two and a half kilometres last week before the video signal went out, but I've got a lot more altitude this time, so I'm not expecting to lose the video. 
Well, not as quickly at least. It's only a 200 milliwatt uh, video transmitter, but I expect it to go as far as the uh, flight radio will. So in the OSD insert, you can see the OSSI indication and the distance from home in the middle of the bottom of the screen and altitudes uh, in the middle of the screen to the right. So I'm uh, climbing up to uh, around about 300 metres and I'm giving it um, a bit of extra throttle to do that. She normally seems to be happy cruising at about two and a half amps, so I've given it about three and a half at the moment. So I decide I've got enough altitude and cut back on the throttle a bit and level out. So we're just passing two kilometres and the RSSI indicator starts to flash. It's uh, down below 50%, but as I said, it's not really calibrated, so I don't know what that means. That red circle indicates where I picked up the Nano Talon on the last flight. So hopefully I won't have to repeat that. So just as we come up to about three kilometres, the video starts to get a little bit grainy and the Nano Talon suddenly starts to do uh, autonomous turns, which indicates that it's gone into failsafe, which has been set to uh, activate return to home mode. So I let it come round and I flick the transmitter in a return to home and she settles down on a nice uh, straight course. I lose a bit of the video signal in the turn and have to uh, move my head a little bit to recapture the signal but it's uh, not particularly threatening. So the speeds dropped from uh, about 45 kilometres an hour with the wind to about 15 now that I've turned around and gone back into it so I need to uh, add in a bit of uh, extra throttle to uh, bring her back sometime this week. So it's a fairly slow trip home, which I'm quite happy with, so I'll just fast forward through this section. Comes home nice and straight and steady and maintains altitude perfectly all the way. So, uh, perfect, really. So when she gets back to within about half a kilometre I uh, take it out of return to home and uh, into stabilise mode and just gradually fly it down around about 100 metres and uh, do a few circuits of the field, slip it into manual mode a couple of times just to see uh, how she responds to that and I'm really very pleased with the, the whole setup for, for a first uh, attempt at tuning the big AL. I'm uh, pretty happy.
So there's still a bit of gas in the tank, so uh, I'll just fast forward through this bit. I'll just do some low passes and uh, circuits around the field just to uh, get used to it. So eventually the battery runs down enough that I think I should land it and uh, due to the unfortunate direction of the wind I've got to come in from the north which is a bit of an awkward approach and I'm going to have to land across the strip so I chicken out of landing on the headset and bring it in by eye. I leave it in uh, stabilise mode just to see how she's going to behave and she comes in nice as pie. So there you go, mission accomplished. The stabiliser is a big success and it's nice to have returned to home. She seems to have a range of uh, three kilometres, which is uh, heaps, and um, the RSSI indicator seems to be working, so I'm pretty happy.